Hey everybody, it's Patrick from Fit3D. Uh, this week we have a fun little hack where we're going to take your Fit3D scan and turn you into a superhero, just like me over here. Um, so it should make it take about two minutes. It's fun. Um, it's pretty affordable, if not free. Um, and so let's get into it. So um, when you take a Fit3D scan, um, if you have one with clothes, I will emphasize it's a lot more fun for demo. Um, you can uh, take the OBJ 3D model and download it onto your computer. So how you're going to do that is um, typically Fit3D starts out um, with the results tab. And what you're going to do is instead of being on this tab, you're going to hit the hamburger icon and scan history. And you're just going to select a scan that you think would be great for a 3D model. I'm going to use this one. So when you click on it, uh, on the right side here, it says scan OBJ. I've done this ahead of time, but it's going to show somewhere on your desktop or wherever downloads go. And then we're going to go to the software called Mixamo. Um, and this is pretty easy. Um, this is with an Adobe subscription. Uh, you might be able to buy it separately. Um, but for, I think, most people, it's like $25 or $50 a month uh, if you want to try to do something like this or find a friend that has Adobe. Cool. So what you're going to do is go to Upload Character, select the file you just did, And then the next process is it's going to take your 3D model and you have to assign a skeleton to it. And that is called rigging in 3D animation. Um, this is a great tool considering it's online. You don't download anything. And so your model comes in from the top. And so what you need to do is make it so that it's facing you. And then the next thing you're going to do is assign different joints. So you see there's the chin. There's the wrists. There's the elbows. There's the knees. Hopefully I didn't just cross them. Uh, and then the, the crotch area. It is what it is. Um, I will say, since this is an online like fun software, like if you're a professional 3D animator, there's like a skill to this. So if it's not perfect, you know, just do it again and make sure that your arm doesn't come off or your uh, your leg doesn't go through some part of your body. Um, but I've done it a few times now, and it's pretty, pretty solid. So the process here takes about, I think, about a solid minute, which feels a lot longer when you're on camera but it is worth the wait. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, it's not going to have a texture, um, but it's still a great animation. And at the end, if you want, you can actually download the character and the animation to CAD program, maybe give it to a video game designer friend if you have one, uh, or a 3D printer. So there's a quick step here just to show you that um, the model's working. And I can see that you know my body is not breaking. And so you hit Next. And this is where the fun part starts. So I'll move my little floating head. So once your body's here on the right, um, you essentially can pick all your animations. So there is some genres here. If you just want something, you know, um, let's do sport. Um, if you want to do something like throwing a quarter, like a football pass, you can do that. And on the right side, it updates to whatever animation you did. So to get to superhero, I just chose um, the super hero function. There's a lot of uh, aerial, aerial acrobatics, um, fighting sequences, crawling, things like that. If you can turn yourself into Spider-Man. Um, I went with a flip, which is always fun. And you might be outside the, the uh, frame of the animation, so if you use two fingers or find some way to zoom in and out of your screen if you're on a laptop, uh, you can position it the way you want. And then the download function here is is if you have like a 3D program. Um, the other thing you could do, which I do, is you could just simply record a video with your phone um, or use QuickTime and you can actually take a capture of your screen. So this is our fun hack of the week. I hope you enjoyed it and um, keep on scanning. Thanks.